Hey, welcome to the channel where we usually show you how to put some prep in your step. Uh, but today I want to talk about the Tableau Certified Data Analyst exam. Now, uh, it's the middle of the day. I just finished taking the exam, so just wanted to give my you know, unfiltered thoughts on the structure of it, the new system, uh, you know, because it moved over to Pearson, and also just sort of the general usefulness of it. Um, while still, you know, acknowledging and realizing it's still in the beta stage, so the final structure of the exam uh, was probably going to be a little bit different, um, but just as far as, you know, the way that it's set up right now. Um, I was really conscious of the format throughout the whole process because, you know, I, I have my certified associate um, and I was really trying to see and evaluate, is this something that my team needs to take? Um, is it at a stage where they need to take it or do I need to wait for the finished product before I suggest that it's something that they should um, invest some time into? And, you know, I'm still on, a little bit on the fence on how I feel about the new structure. Uh, it's, there is a lab section which has some, you know, you are interacting within Tableau Desktop. Uh, but I was really excited when they announced this that there was going to be some content on Tableau Prep and uh, into Tableau Online, Tableau Server. But, you know, there's 70 questions in the beta exam, and I think I maybe encountered a total of uh, five or six questions that involved both prep and server, and even those were um, pretty, pretty basic in their, uh, in their content. And so I've got the, uh, the exam prep guide pulled up, and so you can see here, um, you know, it's 150 minutes, uh, 70 questions, and there's all of these, uh, this outline here. So you've got connect and transform, explore and analyze, create content, um, publish and manage content. Now I would say, okay, yeah, those are, that's true. Um, as far as, you know, connect to and transform data being 24% of the exam. I mean, a lot of that is really basic. Here is two examples of a t table. What kind of join do you want to do? Um, the Tableau prep questions, I was really hoping for a lot more, maybe how to use some of the steps, maybe, um, you know, j just a little bit more testing knowledge of the Tableau prep product. I the, the initial concept and the way that it was described made me think that it was going to be a lot more uh, rounded test of the Tableau ecosystem. Um, but it's mostly the as far as the the skill or the difficult level of the questions, um, you know, the types of calculations you would use or parameters or things like that. I would say it's about on par with where the associate exam was at. Um, not too different. Some of the questions are a little bit different. They ask you, you know, things in a different way, or um, you know, maybe with the new scoring structure. Uh, there might be, you know, partial credit for some questions, but, you know, I, I just, um, like I said, still don't know how I feel about it. I think the overall Pearson system felt a little bit smoother, um, a little bit more updated, so that was nice. But the lab portion of it, um, you know, the, the workbook is, you're not doing as much as you were in the associate. In the associate, you're connecting to the data sources and, you know, just... I'm doing some very, very minor um, work in the data prep piece of it. And then you're pulling in your sheets and really trying to analyze, make your own charts to get to the and answer the question. Whereas in this one, you're, it's kind, it makes it a little bit easier on you. And I don't know if that's really um, useful in when you kind of turn back and say, okay, well, I got my um, data analyst certification from Tableau. Knowing the content in there, I don't know if it's any more or less of an indicator of, of um, your actual knowledge of the product and the, the tool and how to use it. I will say you know, not having the open access to the internet piece does make it a little bit more where you, you do have to know and understand and memorize some of the functions and uh, you know, order of how you do things. So that's, that's nice. Um, you know, it's more about do you really know the product versus how well can you Google how to get to these things. Um, so I would say that's that's a lot better. Um, and I guess, you know, all of the 
different topics that you see here. It makes it seem like there's going to be a lot of these different topics. And maybe in the way that the questions are worded, they are all covered, um, but not definitely not in the, the same detail that you see here. Um, so, you know, and, and I would actually say with these practice exam questions, I thought when you look at it, it doesn't look like there's a lot of info here. Um, but when you have questions that relate to data sets, they very much are presented in this same structure. Um, questions about charts are, and analysis are very much presented in this same structure. So this is actually a good indicator of what the content of the test is. I was just hoping it was going to be a little bit more. Um, now, like I said, it's still in beta. The whole point of this beta testing and the process is to get feedback for them to get feedback and understand um, how the final test itself needs to change. And so what I would really hope for is, you know, especially if, if we're going to say that this is a data analyst certification and we're branching out from the Tableau desktop certification, um, I would really like to see more content on um, Tableau online. And, and I get that not everybody who's using Tableau has, um, you know, site admin permissions or things like that but you still have to interact with it so maybe a little bit more on that topic and definitely for prep uh, the lab should at least have some hands-on with prep because you know i don't want to or i don't want somebody to think they're going to take this exam and you know be able to speak to their skill set with prep um, and then that's not really the case like i said there's not very many questions on it uh, and even those questions are really basic in their nature um, again, you know, on the other side of it, certifications, there's always a, you know, a hot button topic when it comes to certifications. So, you know, I would always say definitely, um, it's something that you should do if you feel it's helpful to your growth. And really the most helpful piece of it isn't necessarily the certification itself. It's really the, the studying and learning the material and preparation for the certification, um, Especially if it's something that you're maybe you're a part of a company where that's something that they're willing to help you out with and, and cover the cost for you. Of course, you know, if, if that's the case, definitely go for it and just kind of understand what Tableau is looking for um, in that certification process. But, um, you know, it's definitely not the, you know, the end all. Um, it's definitely if you get the certification, it's not really going to say that, you know, all of these things about the product, because most people that are um in positions of hiring for Tableau skill sets, um, probably have some familiarity with the exams and they kind of can tell, um, you know, knowledge of the exam versus knowledge of the product. Um, so those were just my initial thoughts. I know it's more really kind of a rambling of things. Um, but you know, if you're kind of thinking about, oh, I kind of want to take the beta and see what it's like, um, if it, you're evaluating it to see if it's going to be something useful or even to be part of the feedback process. I would say if you're going to take it, take it to be a part of that feedback process and help guide towards what the final e exam should look like and, and how it would be more useful. Um, so those are my unfiltered thoughts for the day. Uh, I know it's not Tableau prep related. Again, I was hoping to see more Tableau prep content in the exam. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for y'all today. So I um, uh, hope to see you in the next uh, put some prep in your step video and uh, hope you have a good day.